Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you some really cool hover effects for the cart icon in your Squarespace website. We're going to change the color on a hover like this and we're going to give it a little bit of movement like this. Now all the codes are listed in the description below, but let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace so I can show you exactly how to set this up. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1. Now, if you don't see the cart in the header of your website, I want you to select edit from any page, edit site header, and under your global design menu, select elements, your second option. At the very bottom of that menu, you can toggle on the cart. Now you can change the icon to any one of these styles that you want, or even have a display just text if you'd like. We're going to stick with this icon for this tutorial. Then we also have the option to change the size of it. I'll make it 40 PX, the biggest it'll go so we can see what kind of changes we're making with code. Then you can select a border style, have it be rounded or a perfectly 90 degree angle at the corners. You've got some options there. Solid versus outline. And then down here at the very bottom, we have show zero in cart. When someone is visiting your site and they have nothing in the shopping cart, it will show the number zero unless you toggle that off. We'll go ahead and leave it on because we're going to change that value with code. But know that it'll also show the count of however many objects they have in their cart or however many products. OK, all right, cool. So again, that was an edit mode, edit site header, select elements and toggle on the cart right there. It'll be the last option there for you. OK, now that we've got that done, let's customize the hover effects with some code. I'm going to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. Now, all of these codes are going to start with header, actions, action, cart, hover. And that's the hover effect for the entire element. As you can see, there are already some built into Squarespace, so we're going to overwrite those with code. But I want to make sure that you're doing the entire element. If you forget that part and try to add a hover effect to like just the quantity number, for example, only that value will change on a hover when you hover over that specific item. I'll show you what I mean here. Let's go ahead and start with this code right here that's going to change the background color. I'm going to paste that in my custom CSS. And now when I hover over the icon, we're going to get that background color of bright yellow. Pretty cool, right? Now let's change the other two elements in there as well. We're going to go ahead and change the fill and stroke of the cart to be red. So the cart will be red and the background of it will be yellow on a hover. I'm going to scroll back up here and check it out. Now we're getting a yellow background and a red shopping cart. Now, I do want to mention these selectors in both of these codes are the same. It says header actions, action, cart, hover, icon, cart, and then header actions, action, cart, hover, icon, cart. So let's combine them. I'm going to remove that extra selector there and add a semicolon. So now it changes the background color, the fill, and the stroke all within the same element on that hover. So check it out. Now when we hover over it, all of those changes will take place. Now that we've changed the color of the background and the icon, let's go ahead and change the color of the quantity number as well. That has a different selector, so we're going to add a new line of code. And scrolling up here, now when we hover over it, the cart changes color, the background changes color, and the quantity number changes color as well. I'm using web safe color names, but you can actually use a hex color code as well. I'm going to change this background to the shade of light blue that I like to use, and we'll change this to my favorite shade of teal. Make sure I've got that exclamation point there. There we go. 50BDB8, and I'll change the stroke of the cart and the color of the quantity. Now check it out. On a hover, we're going to get that teal color for the cart icon and the quantity value, and the background changes to that light blue. Pretty awesome, right? Again, I'm using a hex color code here, but you can use a web safe color name, RGBA, any color code you want. Now, last but not least, I also wanted to show you a cool movement effect that we can add. That's going to actually move the cart icon up a little bit. So I'm going to paste this code as a new line. And now when we hover over it, we get the color change and the cart seems to bounce. Let's say you want the whole thing to bounce, though, not just the cart itself. Remove the selector icon. So this happens to the whole cart header action. Now the whole thing is going to jump up just a little bit on a hover and change colors. Now don't forget if you're changing the background color, fill, and stroke, you can do that all with the same selectors, just putting them in the same curly brackets there. And then if you want the whole thing to move, make sure you say header actions, action cart hover, and then open up your bracket. If you just want the icon to move after the word hover, add the text icon, and just that's going to move up a little bit. Okay? Awesome. I'm going to select save. And again, all these codes are in the description below. All righty. That's it for this tutorial. Again, all of those codes are listed in the description below. Now, if this is your first time customizing Squarespace with CSS, I want you to head on over to insidethesquare.co 
forward slash learn. There you can grab my free guide and watch my intro class on the basics of using CSS for Squarespace because there's all kinds of cool stuff you can customize and I want to teach you all about it. That's inside the square.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.